Installation of Gerda Thermo Prime 75 doors with side light. Please check before installation completeness of the order, whether the door has no visible damage, whether the product has the opening direction as ordered and has no visible damage. Installation begins by opening the hardware kit. Each insert has a security seal. Remember, key cylinder packs and code cards should be opened in the presence of the customer. The insert, once removed, is installed to the sash to open it. After removing the sash from the hinges, we open the light. Open gently so as not to damage the glazing package. The mounting kit in the floodlight is always located in its upper part. Remove the glazing beads. We safely remove the glazing package. We check the dimensions of the skylight, width, height, add the dimension of the frame and check the prepared opening. At this point, the type of wall and the number of layers it consists of is important. When planning to install the door yourself, it is worth taking into account the specific dimensions of the door opening. In order to easily carry out the installation of the door frame, the recommended dimensions should be taken into account. The opening for the door frame should be about 1 to 2 centimeters wider than it is, and it should be cleaned, even and primed. This will ensure that further work will proceed without problems. The instruction clearly defines the number of anchors for each beam. Cut the positioning strips into several equal pieces. We install starting pads for the light. Their number depends on the width of the glazing unit. Apply sealing tape around the full perimeter to the previously prepared and degreased frame. To the frame, we install the previously cut slats and 513 shafts. On the frame prepared in this way, we put the frame of the skylight, which we stabilize with clamps in such a way as not to damage the elements. After bolting the roof to the frame with screws, it's time to install the sheet metal anchors. The number of anchors is shown in the installation instructions. Remember to bolt the sheets to the frame beams with screws. Thus assembled, the set is inserted into the previously prepared hole in the wall and fixed with wedges. Remember to level the frame members and the right angle between the top beam and the sides. The frame should be fixed with frame screws or steel dowels, depending on the material of the building.
On the previously installed insert, we install the handle and then the knob on the insert. Before putting the sash on the frame, check the position of the hinges and, if necessary, adjust the hinges, remembering to tighten the pressure screws on the hinges after adjustment. We put the sash on the frame and carry out an inspection of the gaps between the sash and the frame. Remember to check the operation of locks and cylinders. The insert is to work smoothly without any resistance. If necessary, make adjustments to the pressure of the sash against the frame. The final step is to tighten all the mounting plates. Remember, if in any doubt, check the manual. We insert the glazing package. Fasten the glass frames and then put in the gaskets with a small reserve. Installation of the hilt to the door is carried out by screwing in a screw conformat with a sleeve with an Allen key 4. If all the gaps are even, wet the surface of the masonry with water and then proceed to fill the gap with low-pressure mounting foam.